want a car. But when I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Um, no. I fucked up. Go. Grab her. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me today. I'm so freaking excited to be finally playing Detroit Become Human. When it comes to games, I've always, always enjoyed narrative driven ones, choice driven, just any RPGs in general. So I already know Detroit Become Human is going to become my new little favorite baby. And what I love even more is that I get to experience another story taking place in a futuristic type of city. I've always enjoyed that kind of premise whether it be cyberpunk or dystopian or anything like that. It's just something about it. So yeah, with that being said, I am looking forward to everything this game has to offer, all of the decisions I can make, especially the wrong ones, because I don't have a good track record with these kind of situations, you know, like being under pressure and trying to make the right decision. And then you think you make the right one and it's actually the worst one. Without further ado, let's go ahead and let's just get this started. Hello, welcome to the Detroit experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. The Detroit experience? Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Why do I feel like I'm about to... Well, technically I am entering a simulation. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm kind of just absorbing the... The graphics right now is really freaking good. Please adjust your screen settings. I don't... This is great! This is great and nothing's even happening. Thank you. Now select your profile. Select my profile, experienced. I want immersive gameplay with advanced controls, a fair challenge where mistakes can mean losing a character. I need the challenge. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Okay, so in other means, don't fuck up. All the pressure on my shoulders. Okay, look at this coin and coin action. <laughs> wow, the sound design. Negotiator on site. Negotiator on site. Oh my goodness. So we're on the 70th floor. Are you kidding? I don't like heights, so that's great. Oh my god, not the fish! Why is the fish on the floor? No. Okay, I want to save it! Come on. We don't leave no fish behind. You're welcome. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm done. That was a mission. Oh, please, please, you gotta save my little girl. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a oh real Oh my person? god, the lack of emotion coming from the android. That's so scary. Okay, voice acting superior. Hold RT. Find Captain Allen. Okay. I mean, I'm kind of trying to think right now what I would do if I heard that an android was going to try and save my daughter in, like, such a stressful situation. I mean, I would probably react the same way. Give me a real person. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything that moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it ah. falls, she falls. Uh, name? Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? Yeah. I need information to determine the best approach. Emotional shock. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Shit. Okay. So an android taking care of an android. That makes a lot of sense as to why I'm here then. Understand what happened. Don't mind if I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> I gotta get used to these controls. Use the right stick. So, of course, analyze what kind of gun it is. MS-853 Black Hawk. 17 rounds. 
overall eight and a half inches barrel five inches i don't know anything about guns that means nothing to me okay bullets okay 0.355 ammunition oh wait i wasn't done reading it bully weight gives you a power factor it gives you everything so I, oh i can reconstruct it okay through so oh my god okay deviant took the father's gun damn these androids are wild oh i can move the camera while i'm in here too well i mean okay we got everything we needed though it was just one thing okay Ooh, so that brought us back up to a 51 percent success rate on this case i am loving this okay can i do anything here no but i can there is this bedroom the little girl's bedroom Oh my god, I can hear music in the background. Some pop music. This is Daniel, the coolest android in the world. Say hi, Daniel. Hello. You're my bestie. We'll always be together. You're my bestie! <laughs> You're my bestie! Oh no! Oh, here. This is what I'm hearing. She didn't hear the gunshots. That's even worse. If you love the life you live, you will live the life of love. Maybe I need to bring that out there. Oh my God, what the fuck is up with this bear? <laughs> what? I would never give my child a bear that looked like that. Oh my God. That's how possessions start. I bet you that thing is possessed. And I bet you it possessed the android. Boom. Case solved. <laughs> what? I can't even go to the bathroom? Okay. Oh my god. No. Dead bodies! It's both the parents. Okay. Oh my god, I feel so bad for this girl. Okay, nothing on the face. Oh, yep. Deceased. Oh my god, they have real life people in these photos? Well, it's what it looks like. If it's not, that is a hell of a job as far as the graphics go. So the height is six foot, weight 107.2 pounds, estimated time of death 7.29 p.m. And what time is it now? I'm kind of curious as to how fast it took for everyone to get here. Okay, hello? Yes. Gunshot wounds. A bullet wound, a lower lung, hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Okay. Left kidney, perforated, fatal abdominal trauma. He got shot in like some of the worst places here. Upper lung hemorrhage. <sighs> the pneumothorax. Was that all of it? Now I can reconstruct it. I don't really want to though. I'm sad. Oh my God, and he was just sitting on the couch too. Father was holding something. I don't know, like a phone, a tablet a tablet. Remind to search for a new clue. Okay, did I- oh, right here. <clears throat> okay. 
Is that it? That's it. I can leave, I think, actually. I don't- I did not really need to do all of that. <laughs> I could have just left. Okay, so take. Okay, now was that there before? Like, could I have found that without examining his body first? I wonder. Oh my god! He had it on full speaker and everything. No wonder, man. I'd be pissed too if I was gonna be replaced. Are you joking? Oh my- That was so loud. Oh! Oh, duh! Oh my god, I'm so slow. I thought this was the mom on the ground or on the floor. The mom freaking left in the beginning and was crying because an android is here. So, bullet wound of the right heart, internal bleeding. Whoa, sorry. Deceased. Anthony Deckard. Height 5'8. Weight, 170.5 pounds. Estimated time of death, 8, 3 p.m. Okay, is this just like a coinkadink or a play on names? Because I know for a fact who we are playing right now, the actor's name is Brian Deckard. I love him and his work. So I'm, I'm actually really excited that we are seeing him. Oh my God. Okay. Gunshot residue. Okay. Sulfide. Only one shot. I love how, like, <laughs> in the body, it kind of looks like a stick figure. <laughs> okay. Move the right stick. Are there any clues? Yes. Oh, the little girl witnessed it. Are you freaking kidding? Is that her boot on the floor? Okay. Cop shot the deviant. Androids have blue blood. Okay, wait, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. I'm missing one. Boom, boom, boom. The gun. Weapon located. Reach for it. Whoa, I can take it or put it back? I mean, am I gonna get in trouble? Androids are strictly forbidden to carry or use any type of weapon. Oh my god, I'm really bad at decision making. I'm going to... I'm going to take it. That took me way too long to decide. Oh my god, there's a dude like right here. You're telling me you didn't see me grab the gun? I know you did, and you're just being a real one and not- Oh, sorry. What? I've been doing a lot of work. Thank you very much. Okay. Over an hour. You're right. You're so right, because that's true. Wow. Okay, let's turn that off. Let's not cause any more issues here. Family was having dinner. Oh, no, you didn't. Him right there. That dude right there. Get out of the fucking way. You get out of the way. I'm freaking. What? I do not like this freaking uh, attitude from you guys right now. Whoa. Okay. I love that. He kind of just did a little turnaround all by himself. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something. Probability of success? Like, is there not anything else in this house? Like, I kind of want a higher success rate. I also don't want to take forever. I 
I don't know. I checked the bedroom. Hold on, I, I just... I just want to check one more time in case if I did miss anything. Oh my god! What the fuck are you doing? You gotta talk to it or what? Okay, I'm sorry! Fine, I'll go out. I thought there was more stuff. Oh my god, this game is gonna stress me out. I already know. I already know. Don't come any closer or I'll jump! Okay. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Hi Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Ah, oh fuck. Why are you why are you flying the helicopter so close? Uh, that is ridiculous. Um, reassure. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk and find a solution. Talk? I don't want to talk. It's too late for that now. Oh God. It's too late. Are you armed? Uh, no. No. Definitely not. I don't have a gun. You're lying. No, I'm not. I know you have a gun. How do you know? <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. Ah! Uh, I know you and Emma were very close. I don't know. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. She d what? This isn't her fault. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no. Oh, my God. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. Oh, my God, the success rate is going up. Matter. But I was just their toy. Something to throw away when you're done with. Okay, is it, like, kind of bad that that's a little relatable? Like, I get it. Sympathetic. Listen, I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. God, I no, love this. It's not my fault. The graphics. I never wanted this. I love them. I know. You know? I know, I know. But I was nothing to them. Okay. Just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. And tell that helicopter to get out of here. Yeah, get out. Go. You're ruining everything. There. I Woo. did what you wanted. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Okay. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. But when I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Um, no. That's out of the question. Sorry? You're a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I've spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. Holy shit, I fucked up. I fucked up! I fucked up! Go! Grab her now! Oh my god, what did I do? Oh my god! No! Why? Mission successful, but I'm gonna die! Holy shit! Did I already lose a character? <laughs> that went... I mean, at least she's safe. But that is not how I wanted it to go. Oh.
Okay, this is the scene's flow chart. Okay, so there's a lot of things that could have happened. I missed some- see? I missed like one thing, didn't I? There were a lot of ways that could have unfolded, I guess. Model AX400. Memory reset. Checking bio components, initializing biosensors. This is the top of the range household assistant. Whoa, the zoom in. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diamonds. And handles the. Is that not the Android run across from me? Good afternoon. <laughs> that we just dealt with? Please, we're looking for the same hey, model. It looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. Okay. Not the androids selling androids. There's, at night, it switches to surveillance mode and contacts emergency services if there's a break in. Oh, hello. It detects smoke. How much is that? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. <laughs> I don't like this guy. How can I help you in the back there of the it shirt? Is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in work in order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Anyway, it's as good as new now. What is up with his face? We had to reset but... it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. Kara. My name is Kara. Kara, and she got hit by a Kara. <laughs> got into a Kara accident. Okay, I'm sorry. Valerie Curry, Brian Deckard. That's what I fucking said. Jesse Williams. I love Jesse Williams. Like, I'm actually so excited to get into this because of everyone as far as cast and crew. And this game just looks freaking amazing already. I don't know. A lot of this looks very pretty to me. And I know this game is supposed to be like a whole thing of like the world's kind of not in the best place because androids are all around. And like, I know we always talk about how a future of that is not really the best. This world design is great. Wait, I lost my job because of androids. November 5th at 2038. Ugh. The fall leaves. Fall is my favorite season, and I'm so sad that it just ended. Winter is great too, but nothing can beat fall leaves. Oh, it's Jesse! Okay. Would you like to go home now? Oh, thank you, dear. Oh. I don't, okay, one thing, it's like very heartfelt in my opinion, which is kind of ironic given what just happened and oh my God, oh my God, please. I'm just trying to go over here, <laughs> which is ironic with what just happened, but I don't know. I I know it's not this way, but can I go in? I, oh, I can't go in. Well, it's it's just how the androids interact with the kids is actually really cute. Like, the kids are really happy! I guess it's all fun and games until your android tries to kill you and your family, though. But theoretically, it's really nice. Damn, who said that? Be nice to your crew! Wait for green light. What if I were to just go? It wouldn't let me. Oh, I'm stuck. Please go. <laughs> the game is like, girl, you are already defying everything. Ooh, it used a GPS. Amazing. Okay, why did you do that? That was so unnecessary, girl. Actually, get your shit together. Oh, he just threw it away, too. He just picked it up and threw it away. That is attention to detail. Human music, one dollar to hear music with soul. This is really good. 
I love acoustic music. It's probably like my favorite thing ever. I'm actually in awe right now. I just need to be here for a second. <laughs> I like don't really want to leave at all, but I know, I know we have to get into the story. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's preaching about me. I'm gonna go ahead and go. That seems to not be the place to be at right now. Whoa, hello. Here's the paint shop. Colors since 1909. Oh, it's very interesting in here. Whoa. Identification verified. They're so odd. They're so odd. His skin color just goes. Here is your order number 847. That will be $63.99. Please confirm payment. Sure thing. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Wow, now we can just pay with our mind powers. The music in here is really good too. Take bus home. Got it. Create your own colors. All oh, the paintbrushes. Wow. Yeah, this game is very beautiful so far. Oh my goodness. I love it. Everything color coordinated. It's a really nice sh uh, shop. I almost said shore. Because <laughs> I tried to say store and then shop and it didn't, you know, didn't really work that way. I mean, what are the other stuff? Ooh, a bookshop. Ugh, I wish I could go in there. I love bookshops. Yeah, I guess there isn't really anything to see over there anyway. It's not gonna let me go. Is, are those charging stations? Oh, it's temporary parking? It's a parking station. That is hilarious. Okay. It's like, all right, honey, I'm gonna go park our android now. <laughs> Just give me one second. Smith and White, auto resize, adapts to your shape. Clothes have auto resize? Heating textile? Did it just say self-cleaning? Never be cold again, self-cleaning, no need to wash. That's wild. Get it now. $150, seven in stock, modular jacket. Get ready for the season with our new outfit. Wearable media player, biosensors, check your temperature, eat textile, change the color. That's crazy. Digi groceries, are those digital groceries? And like, what do you do with that? Scan code, order items, purchase items. Okay, so it's like what we're doing now, I think. Oh, hello. Is he supposed to be holding a phone? <laughs> Is that what he's doing? And he's just not holding anything though? Oh, here's a self-order station for Deliver Us. Oh gosh, there's more protesters. I'm scared. I'm not on drugs, I swear. Wine and bread. Okay, well, I mean, I know I can't go in there. Actually, that's a good that's a good spot to protest because Cyberlife is right here. Good for you guys. AP 700, housekeeping, babysitting, and cooking. Ooh, I love that. They won work. Now. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? Oh shit. No kidding. Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. No! Why are you- What the fuck? Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. 
And it's not his fault he didn't be asked to be created. Come on. Think about it that way, y'all. Let's be real. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it! Alright. That's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Yeah, and you better pay that fine, bitch! Get off of me. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. They already don't like it. They're just Let's like, go. you oh. need to. Abide by the laws here, folks. It's okay. I would be pretty mad too if I just couldn't work. <laughs> you have no money. That is so awkward. They're just standing in the back, and everyone else sits in the front. That's so awkward. Dang, a cyber life advertised everywhere. Marcus took the bus. Okay, so what all did I miss this time? <laughs> a lot. Oh my god, I probably I guess I could have done more walking just in the park. That's what happens with massive games. <laughs> I guess you missed so much. That's good to know, though, because then that means this definitely has a lot of replayability. 100%. Oh god, this neighborhood is looking rough. That's a decently sized house, though. Like, I'd take it. <laughs> sure, it might not look the best, but... Okay, thanks for not opening the door for me. I guess I am the android. I'm supposed to be doing the work, I guess. Whatever. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. Ah! You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Whoa. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Not another little kid. Shit. Okay, yeah, there's a lot to do. Time for the cleaning simulator. Well, since we're already in this area, let's go ahead and grab these plates. Oh, hey girl. Can I talk to you? No, I guess I can't really do anything. Yeah. That's fine. Oh my god. I don't even wanna <laughs> imagine how this place smells. Those are what you need. It's probably so bad. Dishwasher not working. A missing component. 573BV. Yeah, yeah. I can get that. Well, shit. Wait, hold on. She just ordered it without asking. Yeah. Isn't he going to be the one to pay for it? I'll bring it tomorrow. <laughs> this is a little sketch. Like, imagine just having, like, these random yeah, payments because your intro was like, well, you need these. But then it's like, whoa, but I'm broke. I was supposed to wait for the next paycheck. Fun fact, I've actually never ever lived in a house TV on. that has a dishwasher. <laughs> Hand washing is where it's at. Oh, hey. Oh, she approves of us because we're cleaning the dishes. <laughs> oh my god, the giraffe. Kara. Yes, Todd? Bring me a cold beer. Right away. Bring me a cold beer, man. I need it. Like what? Get it yourself. God damn it. What happened to everyone not being so lazy? 
I mean, that's the realistic part of it, I guess. When you're living in a life where you just can buy something that can do everything for you, yeah, you're gonna be some lazy fucks. Whoa. What are you looking at? I'm looking at the hockey game. Get the fuck out of here. You get out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. How about I don't go back to work? Turn you on. Vacuum the place. So that I don't have to do it. On top of everything else. Oh, she's playing with it! Stop it! Alice! You better stop that right now! No, let her play with it, I swear to God. You are the worst. That was the Why cutest is she thing. Always pushing me. Always pushing. Take the trash bin. I guess that would be easier than walking back and forth all the time. Yeah, let's do that. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, the camera angles. I'm so bad. I'm trying. Okay, collect the freaking Chinese takeout. Goodness gracious. Whoa! Okay. Are those plastic plates? I'm gonna hope that that's what that was. Because she definitely just threw it away. <laughs> She's like, oh well, less dishes for me. Very nice, very nice. Clean counter, cleaned kitchen. I mean, it's definitely not the cleanest still. We should probably wipe the counters realistically, but you know, it's one less thing to do. Okay, so there was some trash here. Coolio. Let's take it out. <sighs> yeah, this is crazy. Oof, all the rejections. Past due, $347, $500 actually, dollars. $500. Invoice. This dude does not have a good track record. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Where is, oh my God, please, the camera, the camera. <laughs> that is something I'm never gonna get used to. Urgent tasks took out trash. It's the bus. Okay, bye. I was wondering if um, the other android we were just playing with is still there. Report to Todd. He's gonna be so mad. He's gonna be like, okay, I didn't tell you to update me. Go away. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. What did I say? Do what you have to do. Fine. Wait, isn't... Are you sure? Like, that was very oddly, like, short. Uh, th those were some very short tasks just for down here, and it's still looking kind of rough. You know what? I'm not complaining. <laughs> I will just go upstairs. I will, uh... Oh, stop. Hello? <gasps> Wonderful. Doing drugs in front of your daughter. <laughs> Okay, well, it's drugs. I thought he was doing something else. She is very pretty. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Oh, she's obviously going through it. If she can't even talk to the android. She can't even talk to Kara. That's so sad. All right, then. Upstairs it is. Oh my god, look at all the different toys! I, I can't pick it up. That's kind of a safety hazard, guys. You can definitely kind of roll your ankles on that. <laughs> Make bed, clean mess, ventilate room. Got it. You can reread discovered articles in the extra section. Awesome. So, Android QB, quarterback, Cyberlife. Whoa, oh my god, yeah. The light is on it on their helmet. Oh my god, they have freaking Android athletes now Gary Gibbons interview 
Android quarterback. American football has largely resisted the spread of Android players with top tier games still an exclusively human affair. Good, I was about to say. But that may be about to change. Okay, well, fuck me. <laughs> I take back what I said that. I guess it's changing. Following CyberLife's recent unveiling of technical demo, quarterback 1000, or QB, I'll say QB, an Android quarterback capable of throwing from end zone to end zone and hitting a target six inches wide, the model is also programmed with over 1,500 plays from classics such as bootlegs and handoffs to more specialized maneuvers, all of which can be adapted in real time. QB1000 was revealed at a recent CyberLife ex exhibition in Detroit where the Android manufacturer showed a variety of prototypes designed to show the potential of bleeding edge technology. But while CyberLife's latest innovation has some fans drooling, Roy Kenstone, founder of the anti-Android fan group, sees a sinister aspect. CyberLife know exactly what they are doing with this demonstration. They hope to distort our sport the same way they have all the others. Despite these reservations, some consider this simply a matter of time. With basketball and baseball already con contemplating Android players, ALED sporting QB might be just around the corner. That's crazy. Whoa, Detroit, get it together. Okay, but here's my thing. We're just playing in Detroit, just one city. I'm sure CyberLife is like a whole nationwide thing, maybe. So like, I wonder how other places are. The price of life, tech addict, how driveless vehicles make life and death decisions. <laughs> Space tourism, is Mars your next holiday destination? These are actually really interesting articles, articles they're getting me. When a driverless vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit. Oh my god! But the exact process by which cars make these decisions is not very well understood. How about we don't hit any pedestrians? Why is- what? What? <laughs> oh my god. I'm done. That was enough reading. That was enough. <laughs> I'm a little baffled. I mean, I guess that's good. Life and death situations. I don't know. I actually don't know if that's good. <laughs> Antidepressants. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Oh my god, right next to the gun. That's, yep, that's gonna play later for sure. Unlock the dialogue. Okay, some shit's about to go down. I don't want to kill anyone, though. Please don't let it get to that. Oh, hey girl. She's so quiet. She's like a ghost. Oh my god. Seriously, all the liquor bottles? Okay, Slay, where did she even put it? <laughs> where did it all go? There's not even a trash can in here, is there? I don't know, there might be. I don't really know. Okay... Switch on? Do I want to switch on the TV? I'll do it because, like, it's an option. <laughs> she can and just do. Sports. First oh, up, more sports! Basketball. As the Gears prepare for their critical match with Denver tonight at the Cyberlife Arena in Detroit, league negotiations are still ongoing over the possibility of allowing one ah. Android player per squad. Whoa. Debate rages as to whether the change would lead to more exciting matches. Or be the first step in making human players obsolete. It's gonna be the first step to taking away human athletes. Let's be real. That's kind of funny that I just read a whole article about it, and that's the first thing that came on on the TV. Oh shit! What is it? Let me see. Let me see. I want to be nosy too. What? What was it? What? I can't read that. I think she hit it. Was it another Android model? Or was she just realizing that? I don't even know. I don't know anymore. Watch it. 
first of all, the toilet does not sound great. Second of all, don't ever do that again. <laughs> I love how she clearly scrubbed the toilet right after he probably took a shit. And then all we saw was this weird freaking machine bulldozing construction vehicle. Yeah, that's what we saw while she scrubbed the toilet. That is so funny. Okay, another bathroom. Yeah, that bathtub is not looking great. Can we please like deep scrub it? Because that is not what a bathtub is supposed to look like. Okay, no, but I guess we can mop the floor. That's cool. Mop, 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 mop. Who knew that this would be a cleaning simulator, too? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's uh, satisfying in its own way, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go into this bedroom. It's okay! Don't- oh! I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? Wait, that's actually so cute. She's really good at drawing. I can't even draw anything like that. <laughs> she makes it look aesthetically pleasing somehow. Wow, look at that form. She is so good. I'm making a bed. <laughs> I don't like this. Why is it unlocking different things? A gun? An open window? <laughs> that must mean one I'm sure thing. We used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. <laughs> Your oh father my God. said you chose my name. Start choking. I was gonna say something, but nope. Kara. It's nice. How did you choose it? You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. I don't want to ask about her mom. I feel like that's a little too personal. I'm going to leave okay. her alone. She's not going to I talk. I can see you want some space. She wants space. Exactly. I'll leave you alone. Like, theoretically, I would want to know about her mom, but come on, we can't ask a child about that. What is that? I thought she was gonna hug me. Oh, it's a key. Okay, shit, now we gotta find where that key leads to. Is this something? Wait, it might be something in here. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This right here. Her treasures. Oh, here! We get to learn more about her past anyway. Okay, good thing I didn't ask. Oh, Or leave Clover. Whoa. Wow, her dad looked different. Oh my god, she got a gash in her forehead before? It's actually so crazy how much kids' drawings show different feelings and events. Yep. Kara, you didn't get ran over by Kara. You got freaking dismembered. It's interesting to see so far the different things that these androids are going to and how it actually has them evoking emotion because I feel like the most stereotypical thing in different movies, games, books, stories 
it's you know robots don't have emotions or whatever and like that's like the biggest difference between robots animatronics androids to humans like whatever it may be so this is this is a very interesting take what are you doing uh, i'm playing you're playing i know what you're thinking i think your dad's a low life huh fucking loser can't get a job take care of his family don't you think I tried to make things work? Dude, she's just literally playing with what her box. What do I do? When someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! You are very much projecting your insecurities right now, sir. You hate me. You I think- hate I, me. I think you hate yourself. Say it! You hate me! God. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Yikes. What in the world? Okay, what did I miss? Okay, I think I missed a lot on the first floor. Yep. <laughs> this is making me feel awful. What am I not seeing? Okay. Well, you know what? It's fine. He didn't deserve a super clean house anyway. Alice deserves it. The dad, Todd, does not. <laughs> Can't believe I keep missing shit. Oh my god. Okay. This time, I'm really gonna take my sweet time and look at everything. Everything. Marcus, that's his name. Damn. Okay, he's he's living in a very nice house. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you're willingly spending like almost seventy dollars on a, a few paints. Take care of Carl. Wake Carl up upstairs. Hello. Here's one thing we can do. Oh, they're fake birds. They're android birds. You can get android animals? What? That's so wild. Whoa. I mean, that is pretty cool in its own way. We'll let Carl sleep in a little bit. Oops, my bad. Oh, the cup with the smiley face on it. What? Yeah, let's take him some breakfast. I feel like this man deserves it. Um, I mean, I hope so. Hopefully, he's a nice rich man, not a really mean one. <laughs> Put down, have it all ready, I guess. Oh, is that it? And you have a digital aquarium? <laughs> or is that just, I, okay, that might be like the screensaver or something. I don't know, regardless. You'll have shmoney shmoney. Chess, checkmate, and three moves for silver. Those are some very interesting chess pieces. This is actually really pretty. We are not ready to go out yet. Don't open the door for me. I want to explore. Wow, I'm loving these vintage look. Uh, wow, these vintage books. <laughs> I don't know about that though. On the piano, that's a little. That's crazy. This freaking giraffe. Why did I not notice this before? When I first walked in, it's freaking massive. Okay, I don't think you're ever gonna be able to go up those stairs. 
Oh, well, definitely not. It's freaking closed on one side, so that's definitely for decor. That's crazy. Well, I like this. I guess we shall wake the man up. Wait. Oh, I can try the piano. I will do that in a second for sure. Okay, it's all glass. At first, I just thought it was like all open. <laughs> Out back, I'm like, why are there curtains? This is amazing. I would love an like a all glass studio like this. I mean, I don't do art, but if I could, I would. My boyfriend does though. He's really good at art. I feel like he would love a place like this. Clean, clean, clean. Clean some more. Wow, yeah. You get them paints. Put them up. Okay. Anything else to clean? Yep. I knew it. I had a feeling. My goal is to not miss anything this time around. I want to be able to see everything that I can do. That makes me very happy, though. Like, seriously, I, I cannot express enough how much I love the different options that you can do in this game. So much to the point where it's pretty easy to miss stuff, I guess. It's one of those games where you have to take your time, which I'm not used to doing. So I am trying my best. I know some of you guys are probably yelling at me when I miss simple things. Um, that's probably gonna occur very commonly. I mean, I think that's it. Nothing else is really popping up. I could be using this more, I think, too. To kind of show me the things that I can and can't do. Let's try the piano. He's so good! <laughs> Just from those few notes. Alright. I guess we should go upstairs, shouldn't we? Is there anything else? I hope not. I hope I'm not missing anything. <laughs> okay. Well, we cleaned up. We put the paints down. We woke up the android birds. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Ooh. Very pretty, very elegant. Oh my god! Whoa. I didn't even realize he has freaking fossils in here too! Look at him go. That's amazing. That's why you can't really go upstairs because there's another way to get up here. A better way to get up here. Okay, I'm- everything is sounding very calming right now. Listen to the birds, the footsteps. That is fantastic. Draw the curtains. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, he's got oh. tattoos! Good morning, Carl. Hi, Carl. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80 percent oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. Actually, yeah, <laughs> especially if it's gonna I rain. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. That is helpful. <laughs> Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Carl. <laughs> Thank you. God, I'm gonna get so freaking attached to these androids. I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh God, here we go. One, two, three. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. That's a good point. Hey. We are what very fragile creatures. Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. 
They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, Carl is so nice. Oh. Son of a bitch. Beautiful bedroom. Oh my gosh. Oh, the cat. Is that a cat? <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't a cat. That might have been something else. Okay. Out we go. Screech, 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 screech. Anything special on the agenda today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at oh the God, Museum of Modern going? Art. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Oh, fan mail. We love fan mail. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Who's Leo? Oh, snap. Dang, I'm must starving. be nice to have them automatic doors. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. Oh, bacon and eggs sound so good. Television. I love that cup. It's so cute. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. Sure. What do I do? Find something to do. Can I play chess with myself? <laughs> that's a thing, right? I think that's a thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's many things to do. I actually don't really know how to play this, though. Play chess. Okay, what are our other options? Television oh. off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, I can spin the globe! <laughs> Wherever it lands is where we're traveling, folks! Alright, um... I don't know, let's try the chess. I don't really know how to play, so this should be fun. <laughs> oh, he's gonna- he's gonna do it himself. Okay, good. Oh, he's just setting Fancy it. Fancy game of chess. I thought he was just gonna go sure, for yeah. it. I'm like, whoa. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Wait, I didn't even... I didn't even get to... What? That was like three seconds? That is a very odd draw. Well, I know that you don't like to lose, but you don't like it when I let you win either. A draw feels like an honorable <laughs> compromise, no? One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself. I don't like it when people say that. Make your choices. 
Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Damn, that's actually... Let's go to the studio. That's something I kind of needed to hear. <clears throat> Take Carl to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Yes, sir. Mm. He's bold for that. I would be terrified sitting up there. At least it's not too high, but. Wait for new instructions. Got it. Oof. I don't think I've really ever seen a game like this where the paint strokes are actually like animated in. Okay, well, it can't go out. I don't really think there's anything to do, is there? Okay. I was about to say, do I need to do something specific to prompt the next thing? <laughs> I don't know. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I mean, I like it. Yeah, it's very there abstract. Is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. I mean, I guess that's one way to say it. <laughs> but enough about But that's me. really sad. He's making me sad. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Oh. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> that's challenging. Anything you want? Having too much freedom when it comes to art, I feel like can be really challenging sometimes if you don't know where to start. What are we gonna do? <laughs> Find a subject to paint. So we can paint the statue, we can paint the desk, paint Carl's painting. Well, I don't know, now that just feels like it's just copying, I mean. Let's... I want to do the desk because there's more things on it. Let's try. That was so quick. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see carl i don't think i can do that it's not in my program i go on go try it grab that canvas i like carl he's actually like i don't know everything he's saying i'm just really taking to heart right now and do something for me close your eyes He's Pleasure. he's saying some really good stuff. <laughs> Trust me. Things that I kind of need to hear myself. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Am 
androids, humanity, identity. Oh, I'm definitely deciding between humanity and identity. Let's do humanity. Anger, comfort, empathy, hope. I'm gonna go for empathy. Let's see what this looks like. Man, with the eyes closed. The soundtrack is so good. I love cinematic soundtracks. Sometimes it makes me want to cry. <laughs> God. That's really good. You go, Marcus. Oh, shit. Intruder. Hey, Dad. Leo. So that's Lee. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Hey, listen, uh, Zoo's definitely on drugs. Cash, Dad. Of course, he needs cash for Again. more drugs. What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Oh, tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? It's smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Oh my god? Are you okay, Carl? Okay. <laughs> He started leaning over. I'm like, oh my god, this man is too old. I don't want anything to happen. <laughs> that was awful. Damn it! I still miss so much stuff. Shit. My goal failed. So I missed something. I guess there was more I could have done after activating the birds. I woke up Carl, served breakfast. I mean, those are things that were going to happen anyway. Find something to do. Play chess. I think the other one was to play the piano, which I, I would have wanted to do both, but I didn't really see an option to do that. Okay. Well, at least I guess these don't really count because they would be unlocked if I was able to do all of the options. And then, of course, those are going to be locked because I chose one painting. Okay, that's making sense. Okay, I guess necessarily it doesn't really mean that I'm missing everything all the time. When I do these things, it's just, I guess it can be unlocked in the next playthrough. <gasps> He's not dead. No androids allowed. Shit, don't go in there. I guess I don't have a choice. They're gonna be so mad! Wait, no one's gonna say anything? I thought they were gonna make a whole big deal. That's like the biggest paper on the freaking front door. <laughs> There's no androids. Maybe because... Okay, someone said something about it. What's your problem? What's my problem? I don't know. I have a drink. That's what I thought. Okay, 
Okay, so what am I doing? Hello? There we go. I was like, why can't I scan anyone? Christopher Gray, born June 18th, 1983, unemployed with a criminal record of a DUI. Kim Johan, 1999, he's a delivery driver. Edward Dempsey, 1995, no criminal record. Jonah Graham, unemployed, no criminal record. Hank! Lieutenant, 1985, no criminal record. I would hope not, you are a lieutenant. This is who we're Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What Damn, do you want? only the fifth? You were assigned a case early this evening, a homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Wait, I just plastic ass processed. Like just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I just processed. I mean, obviously, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Persist. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> <laughs> no. Where? Up your ass, bro. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. I'm buying him a drink. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. That's so funny. Yeah, so I'm not surprised that we're seeing this android again because obviously all of the androids in this game, they're all like replicas of each other. Like it's it's, it's a line of android. Like multiple people have these. Multiple people have these androids. But I just didn't click that. Yeah, no, he definitely just. Did you say homicide? Fell off the building in the beginning of the game. So I'm kind of sad that this isn't the same original android we started with. I'm really sad about that. You wait here. I won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. Oh. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Conflicting orders selecting priority? Follow Lieutenant Anderson. Come on. No, we're not going to send the freaking car. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Okay, can I go through? I'm a little stuck right now. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car <laughs> did you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions. <sighs> you don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. He really reminds me of Woody Harrelson. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. Specifically him in the Hunger so, Games playing as Hamish. <laughs> yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. That's hilarious. All right, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the episode right here. We started with Connor. We're going to end the episode with Connor. And so next time we will be solving another case, I guess, which I'm really excited because so far, personally, I think this is the most enjoyable so far. Like, the beginning started great. 
started with a lot of things going on, a lot of intensity, you know, solving a crime. So I'm excited to do it again. This is great. And yes, I already know I'm going to be so attached to each and every character in this game. And I'm really nervous because there's already been tension in each of the androids lives so far. So I know things are going to go down in a way that I don't want them to go down. I'm just hoping I don't fuck up and like kill off a character on accident. That's going to be terrible. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that post notification bell to stay up to date on the rest of my Detroit Become Human series as well as other Let's Plays that I will be trying out on this channel. I'm so excited. If you have any other game recommendations as well, make sure to leave them down in the comments below because I might want to look into them and maybe try them out on another series in the future. Thank you so much and I hope to see you in the next video.